Today I'm going to show you uh, one of many simple ways of uh, making your own little mix of uh, soil to go into your uh, pots uh, when you're planting your chilies. Um, I have a few items here uh, that I use. Uh, they're very basic. Uh, sometimes I add a few extra things in, but this is just the basic core stuff that I use. Um, now I ran out of compost, um, my own compost, a little while ago, so I've, I've, I've uh, added some uh, uh, black cow uh, manure. And uh, and today I'm using a smart pot, and smart pots is like a, a fabric. And basically what it does, it lets uh, the roots grow up to the to the edge, and then it self prunes, so you actually get a, 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 a the roots never get uh, bounded up in the pot like uh, very like solid pots. They'll get root bound, and this keeps them from getting root bound because it kind of shears the when the roots hit the the edge and and hit the oxygen, it kind of sears the uh, roots, and so you get a nice even uh, root ball that's not bound up, and, and the plant grows pretty healthy. Uh, so these pots are, are great for that. Uh, probably the only downside is uh, that they're fabric, so they dry out a little more, so you have to water them a little more. Uh, so you just have to keep an eye out on that. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fill this pot up, we're going to plant a plant, and uh, and, and tell you all about it. So, uh, I, basically, I just go in with my hands, and uh, boom, I'm, I'm using a, uh, a Sun Grow uh, Professional uh, Mix, uh, and it has uh, perlite and just different uh, soil matter in there. Uh, nice and, and uh, light. Uh, this is made four pots. Uh, people sometimes buy the uh, garden soil and that tends to be a lot thicker and clumpier and doesn't do very well in the pots because they tend to, to thicken up. Uh, now I kind of go, I've got this probably filled to right here. Uh, I don't know, it's probably uh, about halfway. And then I, I don't do exact measurements, but a, a couple handfuls of black cow manure. You three of those. And then I got some uh, peat moss. And peat moss is almost, uh, when you break it up, it's almost dust-like. Uh, and the peat moss basically um, helps retain moisture uh, in the soil. So I mix that up with the cow manure, which is uh, a uh, organic uh, fertilizer and also adds to the uh, the soil, the soil matter. So I do a couple of the uh, of the uh, of the peat moss and I put another another sc scoop, two scoops of uh, soil mix and then uh, what I do is I just hand mix it. Um, I just kind of go from the bottom all the way up and I like doing this because I like getting my hands dirty I like you know messing with the soil uh, makes you feel at one with what I'm doing uh, I don't I don't wear gloves uh, I mean if you're gonna garden you're gonna wear gloves man I just you know some of those things I just don't do so I got a nice I don't know it's probably uh three and a half inches uh, uh, left on, remaining on the top, kind of like that. Uh, and I leave that just for uh, when I'm watering, things don't overflow. Now, if you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop a hole in here. And I'm just doing it with my hand. It's, it's basically going about four and a half inches deep. And my plant, it's a chocolate bootla plant. Um, got the tag here. And I'm just going to loosen up the roots a little bit. It's got a little root bound, and that's okay. Uh, I'm just kind of loosen it up and spread the roots out a little bit just to help it out. Um, and uh, I usually put a little, uh, a, a little amendment into the hole. I don't have anything right now, so I'm just leaving it, and it's fine. It just as it is, putting it in a hole like this. It's got. Uh, cow manure in there to, to help feed it and so it's fine and as you can see put it in there and it's probably got a, a maybe a, a half inch so I'll put it back down I'm going to pat it down gently um, and it's nice and even plant is in there um, 
And sometimes if you want, you can add you can add a little more soil in there on top. Let's say I want just one just a little more on there. So I'm going to add just a, a, a tiny bit to the top. Um, nothing's exact science, you know. Just kind of kind of feel 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 with it, you know. Feel it as you go along. Um, and as you can see, it is a. Uh, it's looking pretty good. So, next thing we do is uh, I'm going to add a little blood meal. Uh, this is basically a, a, a slow release uh, um, nitrogen, organic nitrogen source. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. Not, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Just around. Uh, you know, and I, and I mean, you know, that's two pinches of like that so it's uh not a whole lot but slow release and it's going to help feed the plant as it goes and got my watering hose i got it set to soak just going to water it up a little bit here get it nice and soaked Days are hot. Uh, this plant has been uh, weathered, so it's 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 used it's used to the uh, the heat and humidity and sunlight. And that is it. And then we're gonna put our marker in here, chocolate bula. It's actually chocolate bula S. It uh, means scorpion. So this is a a, a pheno that Jack Chapman has been working on. Uh, but yeah, and then you may tap it down, just get a little more firm, and that's it. Uh, so I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you real quick uh, what I just used as far as the actual bags. And uh, I mean, a big, large bag of peat moss gonna run you about twelve dollars. Uh, black cows about five, um, and then the, the uh, pro mix is. The Pro Mix is about 12, and it's uh, 2.8 cubic feet. Uh, and then I believe the uh, peat moss is 3 cubic feet. Don't quote me on that. 2.2. Uh, so there you go. And that's basic, uh, you know, plain Jane. Uh, anybody can do this. I just wanted to show you a, a quick, easy way. Boom, the plant's done. It's ready to be uh, to, to sit out in the, in the uh, front garden and grow. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, uh, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye, guys.